Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage online classes. Uh, friends, in this video, I will be explaining to you uh, the 55 most important idioms uh, that are most likely to come in the next forthcoming exams, uh, particularly SSC CGL, CGL exam, Tier 1 as well as Tier 2. So this video is extremely important for SSC aspirants, but at the same time, this video is also important for other students, uh, for students who are preparing for other competitive exams because these uh, kind of idioms are very common in uh, reading comprehension, in closed test, in sentence comprehension and in sentence correction and in other parts also. So this uh, will be very very useful for you. So I request before I start, I request to you uh, that you must watch this video from beginning till end and do not leave any part because this is very very important for you. So here I have given the explanation of uh, idiom. What is idiom? An idiom is a saying or expression with a meaning that is hard to interpret, that is hard to understand uh, because the literal meaning and actual meaning of the idiom is totally different. You cannot guess or you cannot kind of uh, predict what could be the meaning of uh, uh, this idiom. For example, kick the bucket. If you look at the literal meaning of this, uh, uh, you will come to know that it means hit the bucket, but actually it means to die. Okay, in the same way, uh, feeling blue is an idiom which means feeling unwell or you can say out of sorts, out of sorts also mean uh, to be unwell. So this is how they work, actually idiom meaning, uh, the literal meaning and the actual meaning. The actual meaning is totally different from the literal meaning and uh, this is the idiom and these idioms are very common in written English and spoken English and they are most frequently asked in different comparative exam. So let us start with these most important idioms. I have included only the most important idioms from the last year question paper and I have uh, taken some 55 idioms that are most important. So the first idiom is uh, his utopian idea was interested but not acceptable. Now utopian simply means something uh, very perfect or something very imaginary. Okay, in uh, utopian simply means uh, a place where everything is perfect. So a place where everything is perfect uh, can only be in imagination. It is a imagination thing, imaginative thing. So your answer will be an imaginary idea. Utopian idea means an imaginary idea. And the opposite of utopian is dystopia. And dystopia means uh, the place where uh, nothing is perfect. Okay, so utopian and dystopian, there are two words. Utopian means something which is perfect or some place which is perfect or in Hindi, you can say Ram Raj. So his utopian idea was interested, interesting but not acceptable. Your answer will be D, an imaginary idea. Now let us look at the next part. See, has the habit of getting into row over trivial matters. Trivial matters means the matters of small uh, importance. Uh, now, getting into row means uh, giving unwanted advice. Do not confuse with the C option. Getting into a fight, this is very close. Uh, seeking help and getting the right path. So, here your answer will be giving unwanted advice. Now, let us look at the question number third. This is question number third. A good sports person cannot afford to have a fits of blues before the game now look at the options uh, you have got very close options steroids or drug you must have heard about the players are uh, taking steroids and drugs before the game this is a very uh, very common news but this is not the answer here your answer here will be d a fits of blue simply means to be sad or to be depressed or to be in low spirits just before the game so your answer here will be depression, to be in depressed, to be in, uh, to be in depression. A good sports person cannot afford to have a fits of blues before the game. So here your answer will be D. Now look at the options, very close options the examiner has given you uh, just to confuse you. Steroids, uh, indulge in a match fixing because this is very common and popular. Have salads before the game. So these are not the answers uh, the examiner has given you just to confuse the students and uh, your answer correct answer will be D. A fits of blue means uh, to be to be in depression. Now look at the question number fourth a small fry. A small fry is somebody who is not important in any organization or in any company. 
ओके स्मॉल बिस्किट टाइनी टॉय एंड डेंजरस थिंग्स दीज आर द अदर ऑप्शन बट योर बट योर आंसर विल बी अन इम्पोर्टेंट पर्सन नाउ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन थाउजेंड्स पुट पुट ऑन ए डेली फायट टू कीप द बुल्फ फ्रॉम द डेंजर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस क्वेश्चन हैज ऑलरेडी कम इन मेनी एग्जाम्स सो हेयर योर आंसर विल बी बी टू हैव इनफ मनी टू अवॉइड गोइंग हंगरी दिस विल बी योर आंसर and uh, do not get confused with the close options like uh, be brave enough to fight enemies to save money very close protect your home from dangers this is also very close but your answer will be b and uh, that is to have enough money to avoid going hungry this will be your answer to keep the wolf from the door now let us look at the next part jim organized a few party games to break the ice when people first arrive to break the ice means uh, to start the conversation just to make people uh, feel very relaxed and get them out of the awkward situation because uh, when the stagians meet together uh, for the first time they are in a very awkward situation because they are not familiar with each other so break the ice means to start the conversation or to say or do something that make people feel more relaxed so here your answer will be obviously c break the ice this is very very important now look at this question the policy has been declared to be null and void when something is null and void it is no longer in force okay it is not effective anymore so your answer will be here b have no legal force very close options are given null and void uh, could be uh, only for minors only for senior citizens to be in force so here if something is null it means it is nil it doesn't have any legal force so here your answer will be have no legal force if you refuse point blank you refuse completely one more uh, idiom i have given here just to facilitate your preparation you can remember this thing also when you refuse point blank it means you refuse completely and uh, directly and will not change your decision he locked himself in the bathroom and refused point blank to come out so point blank refuse point blank means you refuse completely and directly okay so this is the answer of this thing uh question number 8 and question number 9 let us look at them the narrative in this book plays second fiddle to the accident a uh, photograph photographs so play second fiddle means to be less important rather uh, in in comparison to somebody to be less important so here your answer will be to be less important because you are playing a second fiddle you are not playing a first fiddle you are playing a second fiddle so you are less important so this is how you can remember this thing to play second fiddle means to be less important for example in in an on any organization uh the clerk always play a second fiddle to the officer okay so this is how we can remember this thing question number 9 salman is jumping down my throat this is very difficult to interpret jumping down my throat means to react angrily so this will be your answer to react angrily jumping down my throat achilles heels achil heel is something which is your weak point or by by that uh, weak point you have, you become vulnerable so achil heel simply means your weak point any kind of weak point it could be physical it could be mental your weak point is called achil heel and your enemy uh, will always attack your weak points or your achil heel okay so blow his own trumpet blow his own trumpet trumpet is a kind of musical instrument which is played uh, normally in marriages so when you blow your own trumpet it means you are indulging in self praise so here your answer will be self praise blow his own trumpet blow his own trumpet means self praise or to indulge in self praise now look at the question number 12 selection of candidate is an apple of discord among the member of a party an apple of discord is a bone of contention it's a cause of trouble it's it's a cause of 
problem okay so here your answer will be b root of trouble or you can say cause of trouble and this is also called a bone of contention now look at uh, question number 13th the experiment was a leap in the dark if you leap in the dark it means you are doing things randomly or or you can say you are taking chances you are doing uh, the things experimentally okay you do not know the result you are just taking chances so here your answer will be b now let us look at the next part our scientists have power uh, to cut the gorgian knot when you say to cut the gorgian knot it means uh, you can solve the complex problem in an easy manner and this is this is what our scientist has they have the ability to solve the complex problem in an easy manner so your answer will be b now let us see this question hard work pays in the long run definitely hard work pays not only in the long run but also in the short run so in the long run simply means ultimately or finally or you can say eventually because ultimately finally and eventually are the same word and practically and virtually are the same word so in the long run means finally or you can say ultimately now let us look at the next part smell the rat when something was going wrong i could smell the rat it means i could suspect i was doubtful or you can say i was skeptical so smell the rat simply means to suspect something wrong okay so here your answer will be b let the grass grow under the feet let the grass grow under the feet means to do nothing and sit idle just look at the options very close options are given to develop things to wait for the right time to prepare for something but these are not the answers your answer is b and that is to do nothing now look at the next part who will believe your cock and bull story nobody will believe your cock and bull story because your story is an absurd one okay your story is nonsensical your story is totally uh, totally silly you can say so it's a absurd story cock and bull story means absurd story uh the manager is not dismissed but he is definitely under cloud under cloud under cloud mean means he is suspicious he is under suspicion people are doubting him so very close options are given here suspension means to delay something so this this is very close this b and c are very close warned severely under scrutiny very close options are given here and this question has already come in ssc stenographers exam 2016 uh, which was held i think in january so these kind of questions uh, where options are very close are very very common in these exams i have indicated uh, which year and which exam uh, this question has appeared so these question i have taken from ssc stenographer exam but mixed kind of question you will find here ssc cgl question also you will find here just see here this these are the ssc cgl question it was all greek to me all greek to me uh, means i was unable to understand what was written so it was completely incomprehensible incomprehensible means i was unable to understand anything a chip on the shoulder a chip on the shoulder means a grudge uh, something that happened in the past and something that you are angry about so these kind of grudge is called a chip on the shoulder and this question has come in ssc exam 2010 11 and uh, question number 20th uh, this has come in ssc cgl tier 1 2010 11 so these kind of questions are very common a cup of joe a cup of joe means a cup of coffee i have given here uh, elaborated here a cup of joe is an american nickname uh, for a cup of coffee coffee which <coughs> very common example and uh, cut the mustard if you are if you are able to cut the mustard you are able to meet the expectations if somebody is hoping from you something you are able to do it you are meeting the expectations so this is what the cut the mustard means 24 back to the dry, uh, drawing board back to the drawing board means starting over again okay start something again uh there is another uh, idiom for this back to the square one 
back to the square one and back to the drawing board both are both indicate the same thing a dime a dozen a dime a dozen simply means something that is very common that is very easily available that is very uh, very familiar to everyone okay so a dime or dozen means extremely common extremely available thing or uh, with which uh, everybody is uh, is aware or familiar so a dime or dozen is something very 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 common extremely common so here your answer will be c tall order my boss asked me to do many things he asked me to do five six uh, things in a row and it was a difficult thing to perform so tall order means a thing difficult to perform tall order a thing difficult to perform to play fast and lose it means you are not being honest and you are playing tricks so to play fast and lose means to play trick harp on means to speak about something or to keep talking about something in a very complaining manner so here your answer will be to keep talking all agog all agog when your when your result is going to be out you are all agog means you are restless you are de you are desperate you want to know about your result so all all agog means are uh, restless he put across his ideas to the minister it means he conveyed his ideas effectively okay so put across means conveyed your ideas effectively this is uh, this a option is very close is strongly expressed but your answer will be b the officer called for an explanation from the cashier for the shortage of cash called for means he demanded an explanation okay demanded so this is very close options are given asked requested begged but called for means demanded okay and call on means to visit somebody he and his friend are sailing in the same boat they are sailing in the same boat so you can say they are in the same situation but this phrase or this idiom simply imply being in the same difficult situation so here your answer will be b now look at here to be successful in today's world we require the gift of the gab it means you require ability to speak well ability to express your thoughts well so gift of the gab ability to speak well question number 34 to strain every nerve when you strain every nerve you you put in your utmost effort so here your answer will be a to make utmost effort to strain every nerve to flog a dead horse when you when you uh, try to awake uh, something which is already dead you can't do it it will be impossible for you to make him alive okay so your answer here will be c to attempt to do the impossible to flog a dead horse now look at the question number 36 do not pull a long face when you say do not pull a long face long face simply imply to be sad or you can say to be dejected to be sad to look sad okay and uh, question number 37th for years i could not shake off the trauma of that day i could not forget the trauma of that day this question these questions i have taken from ssc stenographer exam which was recently conducted in jen so this could be repeated so that is why i have taken uh, these questions i and my friend always go dutch when we eat out this question has come in ssc cgl tier 1 2015 and the go dutch means divide the cost i shall always remember my alma mater with gratitude alma mater is your school where you got the education so institutions where i got education Question number forty. I hope you will back me at the meeting. You will back me means you will support me. A close-fisted man does not know the significance of human life because he doesn't want to spend his money. So that is why, if you don't want to spend your money or if you hate spending your money, you are a miser or you are stingy. 
so a close fisted man will be a miser he is as deft as a brush do not believe a word of what he says as deft as a brush simply means really silly really silly so these options are very close very funny liar unreliable very close options are given here a man of straw you must you must be knowing about straw when you uh, uh, when you have the cold drink you use the straw and straw doesn't have any weight it means a person of little value or importance is called a man of straw to be in abeyance to be in abeyance means to be in suspense your answer will be c a math subject makes me out of my wits now wits simply imply your wiseness your intelligence okay so when you are out of your wits you are confused so your answer here will be greatly confused if something is at a premium it means you cannot get it and it's very difficult to get or obtain so at a premium means something very difficult to get or obtain hit the nail on the head very uh, very difficult to interpret the meaning uh, if you look at the literal meaning of the words but your here your answer will be do or say the exact thing hit the nail on the head do or say the exact thing okay and at the premium is difficult to get or obtain and uh, question number 46 uh, has already come in ssc cgl tier 1 2011 uh to make a pig of oneself to make a pig of oneself means to overeat something okay to eat excessively to talk through one's hat to talk through one's hat means uh to talk ignorantly as if you don't know anything to talk through one's hat to chew the cud okay ah uh, to chew the cud means to discuss something in in a ponderous manner okay to think deeply about something and to discuss something deeply chip off the old block it means you are as good as your father 52 a brown study what is the brown study brown study means when you are lost in dreams and you are completely confused it is called lost in dreams uh, it is called a brown study brown study means you are thinking about your dreams or you are kind of daydreaming so this is very important ahead uh, as already come in ssc cgl tier 1 2010 out of the wood out of the wood now wood imply danger when you are out of uh, wood it means you are you are uh, uh, free from danger your answer here will be c nip in the bud okay now bud is the beginning of being a flower and when you nip something you cut something so when you destroy something in the early stage it is called nipping in the bud nipping in the bud cut something or destroy something only in the beginning out of sorts means simply to be unwell to be unhealthy so these most important uh, idioms and phrases i have taken 55 idioms i have taken and i am 100% sure uh, that these idioms will be very very helpful for you so if you have found this video uh, useful for you for your forthcoming exam please like it do not forget to like it share it with your friends Uh, so that they can also be benefited comment to me uh, so that i can know how i can further modify or further improve uh, this video for your success and if you are the first time around this channel do not forget to subscribe please do join us and i am 100% sure you will be greatly benefited by this channel and by its videos so do not forget to subscribe please do join us and do subscribe to us this is very very important and this will be very very useful for you So once again thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you all the best for your bright future but before I end uh, let me tell you these are the different links through these links you can join me on various channels you can join me on facebook through this link you can join english advantage group you can share my videos through this link you can follow me on twitter you can connect me with linkedin all these uh, links i have given in description so from there you can utilize these 
links so thank you very much once again and i wish you all the best for your bright future thank you